Isle of Viewers. Well, it's time for more TT. Isle of Man, Ride on the Edge 3. More riding on the edge, this time on the Nintendo Switch version. There it is, Nintendo Switch. Uh, obviously, it's a cut-down version in terms of graphics, but I thought I'd show off some gameplay on the channel. I have been quite impressed with it on the whole. I mean, you can look at it there, and you can see it all running and playing in the way you would expect. Uh, the details all there in the uh, scenery. Obviously, it's cut down considerably from the PC and PlayStation 5 version I've been playing. The frame rate is somewhere between 25 and 30 FPS. You can see, obviously, things like crowds and stuff like that are taken away. That doesn't bother me. Uh, the frame rate does chug a little bit at times on some high speed sections and you'll see that perhaps in this video but in the main it's not too bad the game is quite playable bike goes in the main where i want it to they've adapted the analog controls pretty well uh, you know there's a lot of very delicate analog control in controlling your bike uh, both braking and acceleration and they've adapted those controls to a digital format well takes a bit of getting used to when you've been playing the console and PC versions just simply for that reason as well you can be a bit more aggressive on the brakes and on the power uh, in the main it works well I would say on a just on a personal front when it comes to conversions to switch I I would actually rather a little bit less detail in fact than we actually uh, to, to actually keep up the frame rate and the playability a bit more I don't think that in many ways these games companies attempt to replicate the what, what you're seeing on PC and PS5 and, and even PS4 and PS4 Pro uh, you know Xbox etc but in a way with the switch I often find that playability and smoothness is more important on the switch so I, I think sometimes I look at the detail on the bike itself which is you know, in the main every bit as detailed as it is on the console versions I think do we really need all of that now Wreckfest proved recently that the switch can do incredible things when you put high levels investment into it over a long period obviously not all games companies have the luxury of being able to do that uh, but in the main some of the conversions to switch haven't been that great in the past and when I think of WRC and the amount that was cut down on WRC to convert it to switch and now we see it running here uh, relatively well so I'm running uh, as you can see I've not crashed yet I know the section of the course well so it's important to go to a section of the course you know quite well and then uh, you know put some time into it so you get an idea and feel for the feeling of speed one of the challenges on the small screen especially with the slightly slightly messier resolution is uh, I say messier because the volumetrics or lighting, the, the lack of resolution of objects in the distance, it can be difficult to see some aspects far away. So you're sort of riding into a sort of blindness where you have to kind of know where you are on the course. So if I didn't sometimes know where I was on the course, I might struggle with a few of these corners. And the racing line is absolutely essential when learning this. I hope a lot of you that play on Nintendo Switch do use the racing line because it's it's the best way to learn the course and learn the braking points and get an idea for when to brake and you know what kind of lines to be taking through corners works really well but in the main I'm working my way around here and finding it all running quite well obviously the frame rates not quite where you, you know you'd expect it to be on a more powerful console but I'm still impressed with a, with a handheld again you're looking at on bike lots of detail on the bike long draw distances for miles and miles into the distance again it's the sort of situation where i would say personally i would take a lot less detail on the bike to have an extra few frames but you will see some frame oh, i would say frame drop. i've gone off there gone off there my, my mistake there just misreading the corner i'm in a battle with that guy and he took my mind off it for a moment oh there we are that now what happened there was because you respawn uh, when you respawn you have a few moments of invulnerability you're ghosted so you can just ride through a rider and just get back on it very quickly so uh, yeah I just wonder when I look at this do we need all of that detail on the switch version uh, I mean, if you're a switch player watching this what do you think about what I'm saying I'm saying here 
would you rather a smoother frame rate but a bit less detail on the the bike there get rid of a few nuts and bolts uh, reduce the lods down of the different bikes reduce some textures and some colors out of the road just to make the whole experience a bit smoother to play i sometimes feel like everybody's trying to compete with the big consoles when actually the switch should be seen as its own format uh, just to keep the fun the fun on the go as it were but either way uh, i was I was quite impressed with this. I, I played quite a bit of Isle of Man 1 on the Switch and don't think I don't think I played much of the second one but the first one I played quite a bit and enjoyed it but graphically it was nowhere near this. It was quite a big step backwards as have been quite a few of the Nacon releases when it comes to Switch. So yeah this turned up today quietly impressive. I'm going to leave you to some gameplay now. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments but as i say uh, don't expect to compare this to the pc and the, the console versions this is just gaming on the go and uh, that's it from me for now i'm going to show you a little bit of full screen actually just for a second Let's hang in there get to the end of this straight i always like this high speed section i crashed there once when i was doing a perfect lap for the uh, launch of the first game years ago I was hugely frustrated it was always very difficult getting to this point here we go to the white pub that just popped into view there. There is some pop-up. And here we have some full screen. We switched to some full screen there. So just if you guys wanted to zoom in and uh, see the full screen action, there it is. Uh, as I say, it's all converted very well from the consoles. And that's it. I'm going to leave you with the last bit of gameplay. Uh, do let me know your feelings in the comments. Are you enjoying it? Will you be buying the Switch version? What is your favourite Switch racing game? I'm always interested to know... Uh, if you're watching what your favourite Switch racing game is, I, I have been meaning to do a Switch uh, top 10 racing games for the last three years, but never got round to it. Right, that's it. I'm going now. As ever, more soon.